Hey, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate that you're on Electrica. Now I have these three guys here, they are voltage switchers. Uh, three phase, single phase. Now, what did I do? You, I'm very sure every person that uh, uses electricity has ever experienced these kind of uh, power problems like surges, spikes, uh, power back surges and so on. Uh, especially in these third world countries, uh, it's very rampant. And on several occasions, you hear uh, that and the entire town, people complain their you know, electronics are brew. Most of their, you, you know, uh, almost all the stuff that uses electricity are brew. Okay, so if you have a switcher like this, it can really help you. There are other things like uh, you know stabilizers. Uh, there are UPSs that you can install and then your house, but those are, are really pretty expensive things. Uh, not everyone that can afford. So we have these. Uh, they can help you. For example, this one is uh, 30 amps. It's rated really at 30 amps. So you can use it to, you know, to protect your fridge, your TV set, you know, uh, almost all your electronics. That amps is really big, okay? So you can decide to let it protect most of the sockets in your house, okay? Whereby your TV set, your computer, your even your fridge, okay? Uh, your washing machine, because most of today's, uh, you know, gadgets that we use are electronic. And electronic cannot, doesn't really work long with those spikes and power surges. So, this guy here will help you to protect your variables, electrical, you know, variables, uh, in case of those surges and spikes. Okay, what does uh, it monitors the voltage for short period of time to ensure that it is stable. Okay, before it connects it. And uh, there is also a delay, that's why you're seeing these weights. There is a delay of in seconds time which you set by yourself that delay. Uh, and it helps, okay? So let me give you an example. If uh, power sheds or if power went off and then it came back. So when power comes back, you don't know if it will come uh, when it is clean or not. So this guy, before releases that power on, it will, you know, delay it while it, you know, uh, examine it, okay, before it releases it. And also, if there is a, a spike in the supply, eh, like you're already using power, the power is on and then there is that spike, okay, uh, it will also, you know, detect the, the spike and it will switch off the system immediately and the equipment will not, you know, feel the spike, okay. And then, uh, when the power is back, then uh, maybe it has been restored, there is a delay again. So, these knobs here help you to set, uh, to give those threshold. High, you, you have to set the, the, in the high position, uh, whereby every time the voltage goes higher than the value that you set, it will switch off the power, or if it goes lower than, uh, the value set it will goes it goes off then but before it comes back on it will just wait it it will examine it here first for a few seconds then it will leave it on okay now what this one does is you're going to feed in these cables directly this is a single phase so you just put in your neutral your live and your earth and then this is your input this is your output okay so uh you're just able to you know from your consumer you just from your consumer that third amps uh you know breaker that maybe supplies a couple of uh, sockets before it goes out those you know circuits or before it goes that ring circuit it, it, you go through here and then uh it comes out from here then it goes those circuits but the, the, the what you have to bear in mind is that the this thing is 30 amps so that's what you have to bear in mind okay so uh, you can 
even put it on your fridge just independent of your fridge it still does the same thing now this it is a three phase one okay and the, and the difference between they all work the same but the difference between uh, these two is the connection so this is a three phase but you're not gonna you know feed your pump uh, supply to go through this like the, the way we did this no what you're gonna do is you're going to use a contactor so in you're going to uh, allow this one to you know control or to master your control okay now for example if you have a pump or a motor or a drive that it's being controlled by a self-holding circuit or it's being controlled by the electron line circuit or it's being controlled by a forward and reverse or star delta or any other circuit so you have to incorporate this guy inside the control circuit okay so what you're gonna do your pump is a three phase so you're also gonna feed here a th three phase okay that's the same circuit so if the th three phase has got a problem this is gonna detect the problem and it will switch off the control and of course if the control has no power definitely the entire circuit will go off the power circuit will be out of phases okay so that's how it happens okay and uh, the, the 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 lines that you put in are fused the knobs you're seeing here we have low high and delay so you said you desired you know depending on the recommendation so you have to say the low you say the high and then the delay in seconds okay so basically that's how these uh switches work they really help okay so if your you know if your power is not really good even if it's good because spikes come in in even in, in even in the first world you find that these things happen there so these things that's where they're on the market you know you Put them in your installation to protect yourself in case okay uh the same way you take insurance covers okay yeah so thank you very much for watching and uh in the next video we are just going to see how we can connect these two uh how we are able to connect them i hope that will also give you an insight on how really they work okay please don't forget to subscribe to like and share and sharing you only share to those people that you really know that this kind of information they are in lack of it so thank you very much and please i'll see you next time